All right, so you knew I had to talk about this one begrudgingly. Blood Incantation is one of the first bands I covered on this channel, and uh, I was very harsh to them, and I still feel in retrospect that it's entirely justified, even now more so. Uh, I can consider that first video to be a warning for the future and that I honed in on the idea that they have no overarching concept as to who they are as a band, uh, as to what their identity is uh, in their songwriting. Um, and they have proven since then that they have not been able to bring anything into ta to the table that is remotely substantial. Um, they got super popular with their demo and then the first full length, which now is uh, seven years old, which is pretty alarming because uh, since then they put out an EP, which is half filler. So you only have maybe like 15 minutes of music, uh, 15 minutes of metal music, since 2016 and uh, then they put out an ambient record to showcase that they further had nothing to say and uh, a lot of people are going to say that uh, it's closed-minded for someone that is into metal to think that uh, they would naturally fail at attempting another musical genre under the same moniker um, and you know it's if you were to listen to what they put out and uh, in terms of even the parameters that ambient music is judged on that EP is about as empty as it can get. Not not just for ambient, not just for minimalist music, it's just empty, period. And uh, I proved that by showcasing my own take on their concept, and the main issue with that EP was that they didn't flesh out the concept. The concept is right there. Their Time Wave Zero idea, um, it could have gone in so many cool and fascinating directions. It's a very cool idea, um, and they did nothing to develop the idea. They, they essentially just slapped that title onto uh, a very bare composition, I hate to use that word, and called it a day because they knew that their fan base would eat it up. Uh, but as time goes on, and you can see that they are just giving you so little after seven years, just so little, it, it's clear that uh, they they do not really have uh, any kind of command of what they're saying and they're trying to coast on the bare minimum. And this new release, uh, which is another EP, got, you guys gotta give us a fucking full length after seven years. Um, last time that I can recall this happened was such a stretch for, for an active band that is uh, really uh, being known as one of the more forefront bands in a genre was in a, when uh, Immolation took five years between Here and After and Failures for Gods. And for everything that Failures for Gods was, uh, it's not a filler record. And this is very filler, even the death metal aspects of it. And it's, a, it's an EP that is one track death metal and one track ambient again and uh firstly there is no duality between death metal and ambient music there is between black metal and ambient music there isn't for death metal so stop trying to make this a thing it's not a thing and your command over either genre is further proving that it cannot be a thing but when it comes to this being uh, a very small bone for their idiot fans it is not just the minimum, it's the minimum of the minimum. I'll just focus on, well, we'll talk about the death metal song. The death metal song, after all this time, their first foray into giving something remotely metal after seven years, is, uh, uh, sorry, I, I, I forgot about the EP, whenever the fuck that came out, 2019, who gives a shit? Anyway, uh, the first death metal foray after a very long time is uh, comprised of um, non- uh, inconsequential non-riffs that are mostly chug based with small adornments and uh there's there's a the the piecemeal aspect to their arrangements is is uh ever present it's never going to go away um there's very little holding this song together there is one cool segment where there's a, a chromatic passage that um they manipulate the time signature of to kind of give the illusion of motion there the illusion of development but uh then they completely drop the ball as to where it can go um they they decide to play up the hipsterism of uh, making sure that they're uh, attacking the fan base that wants to hear non-metal in their metal by um, just uh, completely falling apart and ham-fisting an ambient uh, segue 
in the metal song there's two songs this is the metal song um and it does develop into almost a climax but it's a climax only in terms of, of layering it doesn't go anywhere it just layers and stops and that can be effective uh but there's nothing that ties it to the metal part in the beginning and then the uh the second track the title track of the ep uh is about as sparse as uh ambient uh minimalist music can be uh and it's just it's so I, you know i know that this the goal of this kind of uh approach is to be minimal i understand it but it's just there's even in terms of minimalism there is just no substance again there's like they can't even fake their way through it and and that's the issue is that all of this is just such obvious fakery after all this time you're going to try to do death metal again and uh there's just such a little effort there such a lack of effort and it's it's amazing how much people are still eating this up when it's such obvious cosplay like i wouldn't be surprised if the fucking skullets were bald caps at this point because there's just so little here that uh not only is representative of how death metal arranging works but uh just death metal in general or metal in general just it's it's so obviously going through the motions and I made the made the mistake of checking out the video for the first song, and it's it's again more of that uh, ridiculous imagery of of a, a ritual with with a maybe a a slight uh, Illuminati slant, uh, you know, uh, some kind of demonic slant. It's just so boring, and and you know, it's it's been done so many times, and people are praising that as. Uh, as if it's some kind of uh, amazing experience to behold in, in a video format. And in the video, much like in the Imperial Triumphant video, they are partaking in the ritual. They're in on the ritual. But as far as metal goes, you guys are not fucking in on the ritual. Like, there is, there is nothing to what you're doing that is not only the stepping stone that fans are, that are uh, totally misunderstood as to what the genre can be or saying, but the, there is, there's nothing moving it forward. There's nothing anchoring it in a, in a time frame where even though it looks like it, they look like they're death metal, they sound like they're death metal. There is nothing anchoring it to any period because the songwriting just isn't there. Like even your fucking B peer, uh, B tier bands, like your malevolent creations and so on, like even their arrangements were were stronger than than this piecemeal garbage. And if if you're gonna come at us in, in with this kind of display, this this flagrantly uninspired, uh, you know, uh, hit check the check the boxes death metal by numbers nonsense. It's insulting, and death metal fans deserve better. Maybe not modern metal fans; they obviously don't, and that's where this is being geared towards. Uh, but death metal fans deserve better um it, it's just a shame because it the the issue i have and you know i understand by me covering this band it's beating a dead horse a lot of you guys want to see me cover bands i like and i will give you that i promise but this is a banner year for death metal and all the fucking big names are putting something out and i gotta cover this one because the issue with this band is the i i have a much uh, more critical take on bands that have potential and are figureheads that can steer the genre than I do for bands that are just complete failures and will not have influence and will not have ability to produce anything remotely good. And the issue is this band can produce something. I know they can. Like the demo had reasonably decent riffs and uh, the e even their, their riff craft has, has degraded with each subsequent release but uh they they kind of they, they seem to know what the context of death metal can be and uh, i know that death metal has always had a kinship with like space and and psychedelic shit you know morbid angel mithras all that stuff has it in it but it, there is nothing in common with ambient that can't be a thing it's not going to be a thing stop trying to make it a thing the only reason that ambient thing exists for them that they keep fucking bringing to the forefront is to show them that they have more depth than metal to show show the fans that oh we have we're diverse check this out guys we we can get across our uh, our similar concepts with another complete style of music but you fucking can't because like the even if you did uh think that you mastered either genre 
there's no thematic development in either one that ties it together. Like maybe if the two songs that comprise the CP uh, had similar themes but approached in the ambient manner uh, that, that appeared in the death metal, like to show the two sides of the same coin, maybe you can give us something, but they can't do that. They didn't do that. I don't know if they intended to do that, but I don't think they can. And it, it's, if they're gonna just keep saying that we're this death metal band with psychedelic ambient shit, you have to master at least one of those three things before you're gonna pretend that you can get it across. And that's why this whole thing is so insulting because they're, they're such obvious grifters at this point. The image, the, the representation, the, the visuals, at least now they have an actual artist that they use to make their cover art. So they're not gonna steal Agony's uh, uh, cover again. Uh, but, uh, but all of it is just so, I think I understand what, what metal is in a visual level. I think I understand how it sounds. I think I understand how it's arranged. It's, it's essentially AI at this point. Um, and it's, it's given that it's such a low effort affair, it's just blatantly grifting. Like the, the, they give you what, you know, five minutes of death metal on this, on this EP. Five minutes of metal, and this is, are they a death metal band? Are they an ambient band? Are they both? Are they neither? Uh, you gotta make some kind of statement, but because they didn't, and because they're non-committal to any of it, they are misconstrued as genius, because it comes across in a way where, because they don't dignify what they're doing in any kind of resonant manner, people are gonna think that it's declarative, because it's just obvious what they are. But it's not, because none of it is resounding and forceful and declarative. It's all just very basic interpretations of what the ideas can resemble. And that is just not enough. This is not enough. None of it is enough. And they're going to coast off this thing, which is barely substantial in terms of how much material there is, to get their asses on the road tour for a fucking several years before they give another release of half-hearted metal adjacent garbage and people are going to eat it up because they look the part they sound the part and i haven't seen their interviews but they probably sound the part in terms of, of how they dictate their their presence as a band um and coming from someone that's as pretentious as myself i bet it's even harder to listen to them than it is to me but but my God, this this shouldn't stand, man. Like this is the it's it's just so obvious. Like people and and no one seems to understand it. Like in in the fucking comments, you got to read the comments in the YouTube videos because it's just alarming what is going to pacify metal fans now, and not just pacify, but what's going to dupe them and what's going to make them think that that this is just you know, over the top genius when it's just so little. And maybe low effort is what is genius nowadays. Maybe vagary is what's genius. Maybe uh, barely giving the audience an idea of who you are is genius and leaving it all up to them to interpret through haphazard non-riffs and uh, basic ass melodies and progressions and uh, completely absent songwriting and uh, ham-fisted genre smashing. Maybe that's genius, but if it's fucking genius, I don't want anything to do with it. I'd rather be a goddamn simpleton. And at this point, that's what death metal needs. So thanks for listening to that rant. This band is going to have to do an awful lot to get me to cover them in the future if they fucking grift again in however many years it's going to take them to get in the studio. I'm not even going to bother, but this is another warning that this, is, this band has fucking nothing to it. And they might be your favorite band, but if they are, fucking analyze why. And if they are, dig deeper. There's fucking way better shit out there. All right. Thanks for listening.